You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer: A, B, or C. One. You hear part of a nature program on television. What does it say about the scarlet king snake? A. It's not poisonous. B. It's poisonous. C. They are very big. The scarlet king snake is a type of king snake that is found in the eastern portion of the United States, particularly Florida. It is a subspecies of the milk snake. They are found in pine flatwoods, hardwood hammocks, prairies, cultivated fields, and suburban areas. It is significantly smaller than some of the other king snakes, usually well under 20 inches long. The maximum recorded length was 68.5 centimeters, 27 inches. Neonates, newborns, can be as small as three and a half inches. The snake has a tricolour pattern of black, red, and yellow bands that imitate the venomous coral snake. A method to help differentiate between venomous and non-venomous tricolour snakes in North America is found in the popular phrases: "Red on yellow, kill a fellow." Red on black. Venom lack, or if red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. If red touches black, you're all right, Jack. And red and black is a friend of Jack. Juvenile specimens of this snake usually have the same colours as adults, but often have rings that look more off-white than yellow. As they become mature, their rings turn more yellow. The scarlet king snake is a type of king snake that is found in the eastern portion of the United States, particularly Florida. It is a subspecies of the milk snake. They are found in pine flatwoods, hardwood hammocks, prairies, cultivated fields, and suburban areas. It is significantly smaller than some of the other king snakes, usually well under 20 inches long. The maximum recorded length was 68.5 centimeters, 27 inches. Neonates, newborns, can be as small as three and a half inches. The snake has a tricolour pattern of black, red, and yellow bands that imitate the venomous coral snake. A method to help differentiate between venomous and non-venomous tricolour snakes in North America is found in the popular phrases: "Red on yellow, kill a fellow." "Red on black, venom lack." Or, "If red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow." If red touches black, you're all right, Jack. And red and black is a friend of Jack. Juvenile specimens of this snake usually have the same colours as adults, but often have rings that look more off-white than yellow. As they become mature, their rings turn more yellow. Two. You hear two friends meeting. Where are they? A. At the cinema. B, in a restaurant. C, in a shop. Hi, Tony. I didn't expect to bump into you here. How's it going? Fine, thanks. Well, I just read about it in the local paper. I thought it sounded interesting. Me too. From the review, I didn't expect to be able to get a table. Me neither. But if you look at these prices, I can see why people were put off. You reckon? It doesn't seem unreasonable to me. And look over there, that's Brett Flick. It's not every day you can say you spent the evening in the same place as a Hollywood star. <laughs> I suppose not. Anyway, I'd better be getting back. We're sitting over there near the entrance. Hi, Tony. I didn't expect to bump into you here. How's it going? Fine, thanks. Well, I just read about it in the local paper. I thought it sounded interesting. Me too. From the review, I didn't expect to be able to get a table. Me neither. But if you look at these prices, I can see why people were put off. You reckon? It doesn't seem unreasonable to me. And look over there. That's Brett Flick. It's not every day you can say you spent the evening in the same place as a Hollywood star. <laughs> I suppose not. Anyway, I'd better be getting back. We're sitting over there near the entrance. Three. You hear someone talking about buying clothes. 
How does he choose his clothes? A. He chooses the most fashionable. B. He chooses the most expensive brands. C. He buys comfortable clothes. Well, people often say to me that I must be a dedicated follower of fashion. They say I always buy fancy designer stuff, but that's not really the case. Okay, some of them might happen to be all the rage at the moment, but that's not why. I'm not throwing my money around on a whim. Over the years, I've come to trust certain brands. I'm quite comfortable paying a hundred pounds on a pair of jeans if I know they're going to last me for years. If I got some supermarket-owned brand jeans, they'd be falling apart in six months. So it's not really saving you any money in the long run. They cost more because they're better quality. You get what you pay for, really, and that's the reason they might have become fashionable. Well, people often say to me that I must be a dedicated follower of fashion. They say I always buy fancy designer stuff, but that's not really the case. Okay, some of them might happen to be all the rage at the moment, but that's not why. I'm not throwing my money around on a whim. Over the years, I've come to trust certain brands. I'm quite comfortable paying a hundred pounds on a pair of jeans if I know they're going to last me for years. If I got some supermarket-owned brand jeans, they'd be falling apart in six months. So it's not really saving you any money in the long run. They cost more because they're better quality. You get what you pay for, really, and that's the reason they might have become fashionable. Four. You hear a traffic report on the radio. Which road is closed? A. The A613. B. The B403. C. The A614. And now traffic news for motorists travelling in North Nottinghamshire. Due to a building fire at a farm close to the B403 High Street in Repton, traffic is closed both ways on the A613. Police are directing traffic. Motorists travelling between Nottingham and Worksop are advised to take the A614, or alternatively leave the B403 at Collymore before joining the A630 at Sheringham. Now for rail news. And now traffic news for motorists travelling in North Nottinghamshire. Due to a building fire at a farm close to the B403 High Street in Repton, traffic is closed both ways on the A613. Police are directing traffic. Motorists travelling between Nottingham and Worksop are advised to take the A614, or alternatively. Leave the B403 at Collymore before joining the A630 at Sheringham. Now for rail news. Five. You hear a young woman talking about a man she has just met. What does she think of him? A. He's fascinating. B. He's intelligent. C. He's boring. Well, I didn't really know much about him. I'd seen him around the office, of course. You couldn't help noticing him. Those piercing blue eyes and long, dark hair. Honestly, he looks like a film star. So I was thrilled when he asked me to dinner. All the girls in my department were envious. But as it turns out, you can't judge a book by its cover. I thought he'd be really interesting. That we'd hit it off really well. Then we'd get married and have children. <laughs> well, from the moment we arrived at the restaurant. The only thing he talked about was his ex-girlfriend and football. Do I look like I'm going to be that interested in football? Really, I couldn't wait for the evening to end. Well, I didn't really know much about him. I'd seen him around the office, of course. You couldn't help noticing him. Those piercing blue eyes and long, dark hair. Honestly, he looks like a film star. So I was thrilled when he asked me to dinner. All the girls in my department were envious, but as it turns out, you can't judge a book by its cover. I thought he'd be really interesting. That we'd hit it off really well, then we'd get married and have children. <laughs> well, from the moment we arrived at the restaurant, the only thing he talked about was his ex-girlfriend and football.
Do I look like I'm going to be that interested in football? Really, I couldn't wait for the evening to end. 6. You hear a theatre director talking to an actor. How does he want him to do the scene? A. In the same way as before. B. Very differently. C. Like a famous actor did it before. It's just, well, too reminiscent of Sir Larry Gielgud, really. I know he made this part his own. It's the touchstone performance, one we can't really forget about. The image of him as Hamlet is probably the one we all think of when we think of Hamlet on stage. But it was over 50 years ago. We can't just go on doing it in the same way. You're your own man, John, a great actor in your own right. I believe you can go all the way. So you're just shooting yourself in the foot, really, if you mimic Sir Larry. I want to see more of you in Hamlet and less Gielgud. OK, that's it for today. Rehearsals start at seven tomorrow, everybody. And don't be late. It's just, well, too reminiscent of Sir Larry Gielgud, really. I know he made this part his own. It's the touchstone performance, one we can't really forget about. The image of him as Hamlet is probably the one we all think of when we think of Hamlet on stage. But it was over 50 years ago. We can't just go on doing it in the same way. You're your own man, John, a great actor in your own right. I believe you can go all the way. So you're just shooting yourself in the foot, really, if you mimic Sir Larry. I want to see more of you in Hamlet and less Gielgud. OK, that's it for today. Rehearsals start at seven tomorrow, everybody. And don't be late. Seven. You hear a conversation between a man and a young woman. Who is the man? A. A doctor. B. A chemist. C. Her father. Well, I must say that doesn't look very comfortable, young lady. How did that happen? I was out in the garden and I must have fallen asleep. I had sunblock on as well, factor 20. That just means how long you can spend in the sun without running the risk of damage to the skin. If you were asleep for more than 40 minutes, you were bound to burn. It really hurts and I look ridiculous. What's Nigel going to say when he comes round? I'm supposed to be meeting all his new friends from medical school tonight at a party. I just can't go. He'll be so ashamed of me. There, there, don't be silly. I'm sure he won't be in the slightest. Listen, I'll have a rummage around in the bathroom, see if we've got any cream we can put on it for you. Well, I must say that doesn't look very comfortable, young lady. How did that happen? I was out in the garden and I must have fallen asleep. I had sunblock on as well, factor 20. That just means how long you can spend in the sun without running the risk of damage to the skin. If you were asleep for more than 40 minutes, you were bound to burn. It really hurts and I look ridiculous. What's Nigel going to say when he comes round? I'm supposed to be meeting all his new friends from medical school tonight at a party. I just can't go. He'll be so ashamed of me. There, there, don't be silly. I'm sure he won't be in the slightest. Listen, I'll have a rummage around in the bathroom, see if we've got any cream we can put on it for you. 8. You hear someone talking to their friend about dreams. What happens in her dreams? A. She flies. B. She falls. C. She loses her teeth. I was reading about it in a magazine. Apparently it's really common. One of the big three. There's the one in which you can fly, just zoom off into the air. This means you're content with life and feel you have the potential to succeed. Then there's the other side of the coin, where you plunge down from the sky, which expresses fear of failure or lack of self-esteem. Now, mine is considerably worse. I wake up with such a fright and have to go to the mirror to make sure they haven't all fallen out. Apparently it reveals great anxiety and the fear of getting older.
I was reading about it in a magazine. Apparently it's really common. One of the big three. There's the one in which you can fly, just zoom off into the air. This means you're content with life and feel you have the potential to succeed. Then there's the other side of the coin, where you plunge down from the sky, which expresses fear of failure or lack of self-esteem. Now, mine is considerably worse. I wake up with such a fright and have to go to the mirror to make sure they haven't all fallen out. Apparently, it reveals great anxiety and the fear of getting older. That 